Richie Wierenski was the youngest competitor on Big Break, the Palm Beaches, Florida. And after setting three Georgia Tech golf records, he's currently competing on the web.com tour where he tied for 18th in Mexico over the weekend. And from Mexico to our studios, I welcome Richie. Richie. How's good going? to see you, my friend. Nice to see you. Tell me about the big break. What was that experience like? Was it like, was it as nervous as playing in, in Mexico or something like that or more? Um, it was a different kind of nervous. It was definitely something I've never felt before. You know, I've played a lot of tournament golf. And, you know, when you walk up there and you got the glass break challenge, I mean, some, it's just a totally different feeling I've never experienced. And, uh, I mean, that's definitely helped me, you know, since the big break is filmed and concluded. Yep. Just... You Give know. you some confidence to exactly. be able to trust yourself. Yeah. Now, obviously, hitting shots under the gun is a really important thing, particularly at the highest level. Those people at home, they're struggling a little bit when they get a little nervous of, of trying to get through the golf ball. So just share with us, if you would, some of the things that you think are critical for your golf swing in order for you to be able to get through the golf ball when you get a little bit under the gun. Yeah, there's a couple of things. I mean, the first thing that I like to think about is just tempo. And to do that, you know, it's like the transition, the top of your swing. You want your arms just to feel like they're jello, you know? Yep. So you're going to want, I mean, right there, you feel like you're not, your arms aren't doing anything. They just, it, they're super light. That's kind of one of my go to thoughts. All right. So go ahead and hit one here, and you're just feeling like they're, there's al almost no grip pressure, or is it just, they're yeah. just like spaghetti? Exactly. I mean, kind of a little bit of both. Um, And that really allows you a soft, sort of smooth transition from the backswing to the downswing. It does. It makes sure you don't get quick, you know, Yep. in, in this part of your swing. It kind of gets the swing out there. Now, what about going through the golf ball? You've kind of started that swing. So many people then all of a sudden will get into impact and they kind of freeze up. And you want to say, I couldn't get through the ball. What are the things that you're thinking about to get through that shot? Yeah, the big thing for me is once I get, you know, this part down, this left hip kind of goes goes back, you know, and, and keeps rotating. As long as that keeps going through the ball, I mean, y your your body's just going to follow, you know, and then okay. your arms are going to follow after that. So just kind of once it's here, I think about that left hip just turning, turning back. Beautiful strike there. And many people, you don't play this way with, the, with the, the lead toe flared out, but many people will, you know, to, to try to get that feeling of the hips leading, they'll, they'll flare out the toe. Can you just show us one that would, uh, yeah, with that drill? Yeah, definitely. I think that's a good drill as well. And I actually do work on that sometimes if I'm struggling. So this would be about a normal stance for me. Right. You know, kind of do that. So you're almost going to get it to like 25 degrees and that's going to allow that. Yeah, that's just, I mean, if you just do it in your living room, you're going to feel the difference. Yep. There. Your hips are able to turn. Yeah. Hit a couple balls like that. And I noticed that you've got exceptional balance when you come through the stroke, the, the swing. There's not a lot of movement all over the place. Is there something or some key that you have to maintain that balance? Or is it just something that, you know, you don't really, as you, as you sequence out properly, you really don't find yourself falling out of balance? Yeah, I think it's kind of, you know, if, if everything, if, you, if your hips are turning and your body's kind of following, you're going to, I think you're going to be in good balance, you know, regardless. Yeah. But you definitely just want, I mean, that's one thing I worked on when I was a kid. You know, yep. my dad drilled it into me. Just get your, you know, I'm always thinking about the weight on my feet, like throughout the whole swing. So I just, you know, I feel like I have, you know, the weight goes to the, to the heel and then it goes over there and you don't want it to go on your toes, you know. So you're going from the, from the trail heel to the lead heel as you're swinging through the shot. Exactly. Excellent. Show us what that would look like. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's so at the top of the backswing, all that pressure right. sitting in that heel there. And then as you transfer down, obviously with that lead hip turning, you're going to start to get some real good heel pressure there in the lead yeah, heel. Yeah, exactly. It's going there. So. Terrific. And then you just hold that follow-through, and you can see in that follow-through how balanced Richie is here. He's, he's not uh, trying to find the, the footwork. He's actually able to hold that finish position, something that you probably are able to do through a lot of repetition as you, as yep. you go through this. Now, as you go through and you think about balance and tempo, what's the one key that you have when you stand up there on, that, on, on the last tee in Mexico or the last tee at, 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 in big break? What are you thinking about when you're hitting that shot? Only thing I got going through my head is, is feeling the swing in this right there. That's all I want to feel. I want to feel my arms just 
releasing and doing that, you know, you're going to get it done. Richie, thanks so much. Yeah.